All right, Joey, uh, what did you guys work on in practice? Uh, I mean, like pregame skates for most part of, the, part of the year have been the same. Uh, as a team, I think we like to have, um, you know, same routine on game days with uh, maybe the exception of one drill if we uh, want to touch up on something. But uh, for the most part, it's, uh, it's been consistently the same. Excited to get Claxon and uh, Flasher back soon? Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, last this whole month, uh, between call-ups and uh, injuries, it's been, uh, it's been a battle. But, uh, you know, getting Claxon back and getting Flasher back would be a huge help to the lineup. What do each of them bring? Flasher, you know, leadership and uh, just a big physical force in the blue line. You know, got some offense too, and uh, and Claxon just brings you know high energy, uh, fills out fills out that line with Mervich and Brutleg pretty well. Um, those guys have been clicking the whole year, and uh, it'll be it'll be a nice treat to get them back. Last question: um, That last game, you had 13 skaters. How much did it mean to just battle that one out, come back from two deficits, and get a point? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think we did a good job of getting ourselves uh, prepared for the game. You know, everybody was pretty, uh, pretty jacked up, and you know, going up against the odds, and you know, our D man, four D, nine forwards. It was, uh, it's pretty, uh, you know, David versus Goliath uh, kind of game. But uh, we played well, and you know, we were, we were happy to get the one point, but uh, we would have liked to win. Obviously, that's a tremendous help getting Paul back. He's our captain. He, he's an older guy, a veteran guy. He eats up a lot of minutes that uh, we've obviously been missing for a while now, and, and uh, it's good to see him back on the ice and getting ready. That last game, you only had four defensemen. How'd you make it through? How big was it to come back from those deficits and get a point? Uh, it was obviously huge. I mean, only four D. That's that's a uh, that's a lot of minutes for the four guys that were playing that game, especially in a, in a three and three situation that we had. Uh, but I, I think we handled ourselves pretty well back there. I, I think that you know. Obviously, not getting the two points was still disappointing, even though we only had that many players. But uh, you know, you know, grabbing a point on, on a three and three with that many players, uh, we were pretty proud. Yeah, it feels really good. Uh, I just battled there toward the last few games uh, for the surgery, and uh, just it already feels better than it before surgery. So now it's just precaution, making sure that uh, nothing happens to her, the cut doesn't open or anything. Um, it's tough. I mean, it's obviously it's it's exciting too to see the points we're getting and the wins we're getting, and. Uh, and just to see those guys battle for each other. Uh, and there's not a group of four guys I'd rather go to war with than those guys on the ice. So um, they've done a great job. And, you know, of course, I just want to get back. And just the hardest thing is not rushing it when you feel good. You know, you got to still make sure you wait for the doctor's clearance. Absolutely. It's great to be back. You know, it was tough being out for a while, but uh, definitely nice to be back. Now, uh, obviously, the guys are really shorthanded. It's got to be difficult to kind of sit on the side and watch, you know, going through all the injuries and call ups. Oh, absolutely. You know, you always want to help your team. You always want to be out there playing no matter what. And especially when the team is a little shorthanded and they could use you, especially at that time, you want to be out there. But again, you have to be smart about an injury. Um, you know, go back for one game and not missing another month. It's so uh, bide your time. And I think I'm ready to go now.